Hey guys, how's it going? I just wanted to share with you the making of this piece. It's super big and it's based off of mosaics from the Goldestown Palace. You can pretty much tell exactly how I made it because I left all my construction lines in there, but let's go through it anyways. The Goldestan Palace is a stunningly beautiful collection of structures in Tehran, Iran. I totally ripped off one of its patterns, but I tried to take liberty with the color palette and also wanted to play around with negative space. To start with, I picked the pattern and I recreated it digitally so I could memorize it and experiment with the colors. I settled onto making it into a pyramid shape since the pattern naturally moved like that. I then calculated the proportions so that I could make a frame based on them. After priming, it was time to start building the grid. I start by going all around the canvas with a green soft pastel pencil. I then start marking out where the triangle begins and ends and mark where the midpoint is. It's at this point that I commit to making the construction lines part of the piece. Then I just start making lines for a very long time. I had decided that each cell of color would be 2 centimeters. In hindsight, I think 1 centimeter could have made for a cooler result, but at the time I was worried the pattern could be too busy and eye hurty. When that was done, I went back to my digital sketch and designated each color a number except for one color which will be the raw canvas itself. So 1, 2 and 3 are different colors, but 4 is no color and I can't mark it down so I just have to leave it empty. That is exactly where the brain hurdy part begins. I basically had to create the pattern using only numbers and I couldn't afford to mess it up because raw canvas is absolutely unforgiving. I somehow managed to get it done though and I double and triple checked that I had my numbers right. Once the grid was done, I started choosing and mixing up my three colors. Since it's a busy pattern, I kinda wanted to go with a calmer, cooler palette. So I'm thinking of white and then two of blue. One is ultramarine mixed with burnt umber and the second is the cyan cerulean turquoise-ish blue.
I did add some copper carbonate off camera to my light blue though to make it more green and mixed up the colors in jars and numbered them according to the pattern. Initially, I wasn't really planning on using masking tape, but it would have taken a stupidly long time to freehand. I am using a crappy kind of masking tape though, so that the edges don't come out too clean and machine-y. This piece was set up so that no decisions needed to be made past prep. So I think I'm just gonna keep quiet for a bit because it's just painting in the grid at this point. At this point, I kind of realized the bottom needed more weight, so I added a few rows as well as improvising a bottom. I also felt something was missing, so I went in and outlined each square loosely with a chalk pastel and also graphite. I think the wiggliness and imperfections of it gave it a little bit more life and dimension. I'm not really sure what to do with it at this point, so I guess it's finished. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, or critiques, please drop them down below. If you'd like to support my work, consider checking out my Patreon. And as always, thanks for watching.